what is up everybody? It is Mr. Boylan back for a really great time. We are going to define the concept of a mole and then use the mole concept to calculate the number of atoms, ions, or molecules in a sample of material. Breaking it down, we're going to come back to molar mass to convert between mass in grams, amount in moles, and number of particles for any compound. So we're really going to crank it up a notch. Now that we've learned a little bit about compounds, we're going to start talking about doing some mole conversions using those compounds. Okay, so important to know that in addition to individual atoms, the mole concept can be applied to molecules and formula units of compounds and the atoms and ions that make up those compounds. All right, if you're already feeling pretty comfortable with the concept of a mole, we're just gonna take it one step further. Now, to help you better understand the idea of a mole as it applies to compounds, I'm gonna start off with a bicycle. Now, if I had just one bicycle, recognize within the one bicycle, I have one bicycle frame and two bicycle wheels. So if I were to write a formula, I might come up with bicycle frame, BF, bicycle wheels, BW, two. Now, one bicycle is fun, 12 bicycles, a heck of a lot more fun. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so now let's think about this one dozen bicycles. Keep in mind that even though I have one dozen bicycles, I have a total of three dozen parts. I've got a dozen bicycle frames and two dozen bicycle wheels. And this blows students' minds every year. How can you have three things in one? We're talking about the parts that make up the whole. So again, even though I have a dozen bicycles here, I have a dozen bicycle frames and two dozen bicycle wheels. So let's think about how that applies to a molecule of say carbon dioxide with the formula CO2. If I were to have just a single molecule of carbon dioxide, I would have one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. If I were to have, however, a dozen molecules of carbon dioxide, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. If I were to have a dozen of these molecules of carbon dioxide, recognize that I have a total of three dozen atoms. A dozen atoms of carbon, two dozen atoms of oxygen. Now, hold on to your hat. What if I had a coefficient of two in front of my carbon dioxide? Oh my goodness. It could mean two molecules, it could mean two moles, but as we think about what we're working with here, it could also mean two dozen, and if I had two dozen molecules of carbon dioxide, I would have two dozen atoms of carbon and four dozen atoms of oxygen. And if you don't believe me, pause the video and count them up. Math, 